The Joint is Jumpin'. Please welcome to the stage, Brandon Fender.
starting off the concert with this Join Us Jumping and Wonderful Day Like Today. It's a great place to start. Puts you in a good mood, as you can tell. We want you to have fun. We want you to smile. We want you to enjoy this. Thank you for the energy. Keep that up. You can't come to a concert with jazz in the title and not expect to hear some icons, some, some of the greatest ever. This next chart is one of the most famous tunes in the genre, written by one of the most famous names in the genre. This is Don't Get Around Much Anymore by the incomparable Duke Ellington. and she just played Duke Ellington in front of a sold out crowd for the third time this weekend, so I think she's officially, officially a jazz drummer now. Welcome to the club. And then just because we love to call out our members wherever we can, 
Um, this will be a fun game for some of you to play throughout the evening. I mean, we'll hope you're like completely engrossed in the concert and hanging on every note. But if every once in a while you're like trying to figure out who are these people, where are they from? Pay attention to this gentleman right here. That's Keith. Did we say hi to Keith? There you go. We put you on the spot now. Keith sings bass in the choir. Keith plays trombone in the big band. And if you watch, he goes back and forth a lot. He's the only person on stage that's playing in every single, all 19 of the songs in the, in the set today are going to have Keith around somewhere. So, we love Keith. Some people may call that overachiever, but uh, we love having Keith here. Clearly, since Keith has moved back over to the choir side, that means it's time to get some singing back in here. So welcome Brandon back to the stage as the choir takes you through a little George Gershman.
200 more of them on a stage, 40 piece orchestra, dancers, actors, Christmas trees, maybe some snow, who knows. Um, first week of December, the CFC Arts uh, Community Choir Christmas kind of extravaganza every year is an incredible experience. You know, more than 5,000 people come up on a Thursday and a Friday night to, to Longwood, uh, North and Church up in Longwood to experience it. Tickets are on sale now on our website, cfcarts.com slash events. You can be in that room right now. We've already sold over a thousand seats and it's still like three months away. So you definitely want to be in that room because uh, while it might sound funny to talk about Christmas after singing My Funny Valentine, um, uh, that warm feeling you just got, we got a whole concert full of that warm feeling at Christmas time. We hope that you will be there for it. And if you said, I want to have as much fun as they're having, rehearsals start on Monday. You can join us. Great, Justin, how do I get involved? You go on our website, you fill out a form, and then we send you all the details. But what if I don't want to audition? That's great, we don't actually audition for these ensembles. You're welcome to come. The only barrier for entry is, do you want to be a part of something fun? Do you want to build relationships, make our community a little bit better of a place to call home? Great, that's all you need. I don't read music, cool, no worries, we'll teach you. I'm worried about remembering the lyrics. Funny thing, the Christmas concert, we use giant teleprompters in the back of the room. You don't even need to know the words to Jingle Bells. We'll put them back there for you. Because we want everyone to experience this. So we've taken all the work out of it. All you need to do is sign up, come to a rehearsal, and get to have as much fun uh, as we are having. Hopefully, we'll see you there. Tonight, you've already heard some standards. You've heard some things you probably expected to hear. You'll probably hear a few charts that maybe we're doing in ways you wouldn't have expected. The next one, uh, you may not have thought you'd hear some Northern Irish uh, musicians showing up in a jazz concert, but this next chart was written by Van Morrison, uh, and when played by a jazz band, it just feels right. It's gonna feature a lot of solos from throughout the band, so enjoy our take on Van Morrison's Moon Dance. <laughs>
trombone solo. We got Phil up there on guitar. This was Eddie making you realize you need more Barry Sachs in your life, because you just do. That was Kitts on the keyboard over there, and Kyle back there on the trumpet solo. We just heard Kitts in that tune. Now we're gonna have Kathy on the keys, and this next tune, We'll start with, uh, Kathy's gonna get us started. Uh, and I promise most of you will recognize this pretty quickly. You might recognize it more from a delightfully entertaining version of basketball. If you have no idea what I'm talking about or you don't recognize it when you hear this uh, later, hit up YouTube, look up the Harlem Globetrotters, <laughs> and you'll get a little dose of our take on Sweet Georgia Brown.
one more tune here with the band before we get the choir back in here as we're kind of nearing the end of this first half of the concert. This chart, written by Cole Porter, recorded by Count Basie and many others, it is just a burner. It's just a fun, straightforward chart. Lots of contrasts, lots of dynamics. It is, uh, it's high energy. We're not supposed to have favorites as music directors, but um, this is, this is at the top of my list. Anytime we have a chance to play this tune, we love it. Hopefully you will as well. This is Cole Porter's I Love Paris.
know this by now, but that was a song called Sway. Um, that's why it's so fun having singers in the concert. They sing the words. I don't have to tell you the titles. It's perfect. It's a great relationship. Um, sway. What was that? Did I? <laughs> of other material. It's the third show. What do you expect from me? If you come tomorrow matinee, you'll be able to do this for me. It'll be great. It'll be perfect. Uh, we have one tune left before intermission. We're going to bring the choir back down. We get Brandon down here. He was just up there. He's going to be right back over here in a moment. And they're going to close us off here. We're going to take about a 15 minute break after this. Please go grab a drink. Say hello to somebody make a new friend, get acquainted, and then come on back in the room pretty quickly because we have an incredible set for you uh, coming up right after intermission as well, and we want to have you back in the room having more fun. We're going to finish uh, this concert with just a really great standard. I'm sorry, not the concert, the first half of the concert, uh, with a really great standard from our choir and our band called Ain't That a Kick in the Head.
trumpet solo. And that's a chart called American Patrol by the famous Glenn Miller Band. Um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna throw you another curveball, a chart that maybe you wouldn't normally expect to hear at a concert. Um, uh, this was written um, written by a somebody who probably isn't necessarily famous for writing jazz songs. Uh, there is a Central Florida connection. Uh, I'm I'm from Pittsburgh. I should have mentioned that. I mentioned that. In, thank you. I mentioned that in all of my uh, talks normally because if you're from Pittsburgh, it's a thing. It's a thing you do. Uh, you let people know. Um, and so, ironically, uh, this songwriter has a connection to both Rollins College here in Winter Park and my hometown of Pittsburgh, uh, and his name is Fred Rogers. <laughs> yes, Mr. Rogers, more affectionately known as Mr. Rogers. Uh, Mr. Rogers went to school here in Florida. Mr. Rogers built his neighborhood uh, in Pittsburgh, uh, and he wrote a lot of songs. Uh, and, and his show, uh, if, if you are too young to have ever experienced Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, it, 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 uh, there's nothing quite like it. There's nothing quite like it. Uh, his, his songwriting is just charming and delightful and simple and it gets in your head. Uh, and then an, an arranger came along and said, that's really great, I love, I love Fred Rogers, but what if we like placed it to a samba beat? And like put it in the backyard at your like Labor Day picnic like groove to it. What would it sound like then? Well, we're about to find out, because this is a samba version of Fred Rogers' Won't You Be My Neighbor.
stage uh, with us. This next chart made famous by a great trumpet player and band leader named Doc Severinsen um, uh, and written for a show that used to be on TV every night of the week called The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. This is Johnny's theme from The Tonight Show. transition to a tune uh, probably most made famous by Mr. Frank Sinatra, bring some singers back out to take us on a beautiful tour of Come Fly With Me.
it's time for us to get that choir back on stage. They're gonna be making their way out to join us, which gives me a wonderful chance to do a quick little commercial for me. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll walk quickly. I probably won't talk quickly, it'll be fine. Uh, we've talked a lot about ways you could get involved, things you could come and see, and I just wanna make sure that, that I get the chance. We have a captive audience one more time. cfcarts.com slash events. Or just hit our website up, go to the top page, it says get tickets, check it out. You can see everything that we have in store for you this year. Believe it or not, just between now and December, there are eight more concerts, shows, or productions that you could come and experience some of what we have to offer. Our upbeat theater troupe has a Halloween-themed show called Spooktacular that they are doing the very end of October, beginning of November, and it is going to be absolutely delightful. Our narrator's troupe, has a show that was written by a local playwright specifically for them, and it is a hysterical take on a high school class reunion that you do not want to miss. It will be funny for the entire family. That's coming up in November. We talked about our youth. We have kids, like I said, as young as four years old, all the way up through seniors in high school, uh, presenting theater throughout the year. This fall, we are doing a production of the Adams Family Musical in just three weeks. Tickets are on sale for that. It's a delightful way to kick off Halloween for you, if, if that's your kind of favorite time of the year. Then later on, we'll be doing a production of Annie, and then in December, they'll be presenting the radio play version of It's a Wonderful Life. But not just the play, we're partnering with WMFE, uh, Central Florida Public Media, formerly WMFE, and their studio off of East Colonial, uh, a, an area that used to be a TV and radio studio in the back of their building. They're letting us convert into a theater for them to perform in. And, and rehearse it. And these kids are going to be learning the Foley artist techniques and making all the sound effects for the radio play. They're going to be learning from radio professionals. And this could be an incredible way to kind of put a button on, on your calendar year. We talked about the choir concert coming up this December uh, around the world at Christmas. Tickets are on sale. And rehearsals start Monday, if I haven't mentioned that yet. I, I do believe I have, but I just you know, want to let you know you are welcome to join us. Many of these big band members are also in our community orchestra, our symphony orchestra. Uh, I'm not kidding when I say almost 400 musicians, larger than the biggest college marching band that you've seen. We pack an entire gym, and this fall they are doing a concert called From 8-Bit to Epic, which is the music of video games, covering everything from Super Mario Brothers and Zelda all the way through to games you're playing today. It's going to be an incredible experience. You have not heard or felt music like that until you've felt it performed by 400 people. That concert, also on sale on our website, and it would be a great thing for you to come out and check it out. All right, now we talked about building community. We're, we're gonna try something uh, we haven't done before. Uh, can I get a little bit of house lights up by any chance? I'm gonna put a bunch of people on the spot right now. Oh, there they are, that's great. Do we have uh, Allison and Sarah nearby? <laughs> Come out here. Okay, so this is this is uh, this is probably uh, just we're gonna do like some embarrassment movie work for us. Uh, come on over here, come on over. This is Sarah. This is Allison. Sarah and Allison work with us here at CMC Arts. Um, they take care of so many of our people. They are what we call member experience managers. Sarah focuses on our upbeat troupe, our narrative troupe, and all of our singers. Allison takes care of our orchestra and our big band. They make sure they have everything they need. It is an absolutely just phenomenal things. It's the, the work that they do to take care of. You know, we have over 1,100 people from our community that are participating in our programming every week. And having people who prepare for them, make copies for them, answer their emails, make sure that rehearsal's ready for them is amazing. And these two are absolutely fabulous about it. So we're gonna embarrass them in front of you. Um, by some sheer cosmic accident, they are not, in fact, twins, but somehow today is both of their birthdays. Uh, uh, and uh, I was left to believe, Lumberg told me that somewhere up in the gallery, I believe, is, is, a, is a woman, a young lady named Holly. Do I have that correct? Holly is right there. Holly, I'm sorry for putting a number on this, but I have been told you are celebrating your 81st birthday today as well. This is like, I know, this is good. You, you three should get a photo together later. Oh, Holly wants the attention, I like this. All right, so I know I told you earlier that we do not audition for our choir, 
But this is your chance if you'd like to, because you're gonna help us. We're gonna know it's computing right here in the moment. These three incredible people deserve your happy birthday from everybody in this room. Then we'll get on to the jazz. You can sing it with some blue notes if you wanna call it a jazz version. Happy birthday, it's totally fine with me. Um, Holly, this is for you. Ready? One, two, three! Happy birthday! Concert here. We're going to do a little more Gershwin for you.
big round of applause for Brandon, the choir, those incredible soloists. We have, uh, we have just a couple of songs left before we send you on to whatever else you have planned for your Saturday nights. I hope it is good. Uh, as parents would say, make good choices. <laughs> just, just, I'll just leave it there for you. You get to define what that means. That's fine. Um, before we wrap up, um, I, I do want to make sure that you are aware that there are opportunities, places, ways for you to get involved. We joke about joining the choir, but we're actually quite serious about getting involved with what we do. Um, there's a lot that we are trying to do in this community to build community, to help people feel a sense of place, a sense of belonging, a reason to feel really excited that they get to call this community home. Um, we do that through ensembles like this, but the purpose is much bigger. And ticket sales really only cover a small percentage of what it takes to do what we do here together. So if you want to make sure that experiences like this can continue for you, for the members on the stage and for the people who have yet to find a place to belong, um, there are some places you can help. If you follow the, the news, especially the local state political news, you'll be aware of the fact that right now the state of Florida, not a big fan of funding the arts that we, uh, that we have in, in the state. So unfortunately, yeah, that, that deserves that, there we go. That doesn't deserve a how about that bass player. That's not, that's not the time for that. Um, uh, it, is, it, is, it is important um, that we find ways to step up and fill that uh, gap. So we're going to ask just three things for you to consider. One, if you Vote. loved this experience tonight, but, well, okay, four. Vote. Second. <laughs> second, <laughs> uh, second, if you loved this experience tonight and you want to come back, buy another ticket. Come see another show. Take a chance on maybe a youth theater show you wouldn't normally see. Come see a Christmas concert. Come experience our orchestra or our big band. Buy a ticket. Tell a friend. There are a lot of people who need nights like this in their life. You know who they are. Make sure they're with you next time. Tell a friend. And third, if you are so moved, if you have the means, or if you would like to give a gift that is important or meaningful to you, we would love to have you donate and become an even bigger part of our mission and our purpose in this community. You can do that right online, cfcarts.com slash give. Super simple, that is the best way to do it. If you just find yourself on our homepage, I'm pretty sure there's a button right on there that says donate. We are a nonprofit after all, we're not shameless. It's right there. You, we'd like to make it easy for you to give us money. That's an important part of who we are. Uh, it allows us to keep doing things like this, and it would mean the world to everyone on this stage and everyone who's in those eight other productions coming up this fall to know that you get that little extra vote of, of confidence because you care uh, about this community being rich and vibrant. So thank you for considering that. We, we hope that you will join us on that journey. We're going we're gonna to wrap up this evening's concert with just a couple more tunes. The next one's going to be just for the band over here on this side of the stage. And when you think of big bands, of swing music, of going to a jazz concert, no matter who you are, no matter how long you've been listening to music, this tune is probably the one that comes to mind for most of you. So we're going to send you out on the band side of things with the timeless In The Mood.
Tonight with all that jazz, feel free to sing along. 